Hey what's up guys welcome back to a new video on my channel so this video is about oxygen os or hydrogen os port for the asus zenfone max pro m1 so in this video i will walk you through the installation process for, for this rom because it's a lot different than a traditional rom than how you would flash a traditional custom rom and we will also take a general overview of the rom now to install the ROM, of course you have to first download the ROM file. So I will leave a link to the XDA thread of this ROM where you can find the download link for the latest build. So once you have downloaded the ROM file from the XDA thread, if you take a look at it, it will be a zip file. Now extract the zip file and you will get a folder. Now if you take a look into the folder, that will be another folder and another zip file. So now this zip file is a magic module which we will be using to fix the headphone jack on this ROM after flashing this ROM because the headphone jack act doesn't work by default on this ROM it's, it's a bug I guess now if you take a look into the other folder you will find these gibberish named files so what are these? these are nothing but TWRP backup files so if you have already guessed you can't flash this ROM file. You instead have to restore these TWRP backups from your TWRP recovery to get to, to install the ROM. So now in order to do that, first reboot into the TWRP recovery. Now once you are in TWRP recovery, go to the backup option and take a full backup of your current ROM. Now, not only does it create the TWRP backup folder, which we will be using to install the ROM, but you can also restore your current ROM if you don't like the Hydrogen OS ROM. But for the sake of this video, I'll just take a backup of the boot image only, but honestly, you should take a full backup. So now, once you have backed up your current ROM, just click on reboot and boot into the system. So now as you can see we are back in our home screen so now go into the rom folder which we extracted previously now copy the folder not the whole folder but just the twrp backup files folder and paste it inside the twrp backup folder of your device which you can find in the internal storage of your device so just go to internal storage go to the twrp folder and go into the serial number named folder and paste the hydrogen os backup now once your device is done copying the hydrogen os backup files to the twrp folder reboot your device into twrp recovery now we are back in twrp again so this time go to wipe select cache dalvi cache system data and vendor partitions and swipe to wipe now go back select restore and now you will find the hydrogen os backup so as you can see this the first one is the backup of the previous rom which we took and the second one which is the a5000 is the hydrogen os backup file so now just select the backup and restore it and now once your device has restored the backup click on reboot system so now the device has booted up and we are in the home screen of hydrogen os now before you start using the device you need to fix some bugs like you have to do some workarounds for some of the bugs which are present in this ROM right now. The first one would be to install the magisk module which is present inside the ROM file which we extracted. So reboot into TWRP recovery and just install the magisk module and reboot into system again. 
you should make sure that the headphone jack works on this ROM. And now the next thing would be go into the dialer and go into the settings and disable noise cancellation. So by default noise cancellation will be active and if noise cancellation is active the earpiece and the microphone won't work during voice calls. So basically you can't make voice calls. So to fix that you just have to go into the dialer settings and disable noise cancellation. And now you can make calls without any issues. Now apart from these two bugs for which we have workarounds, there are some parts of the system which doesn't work the way they should. Like uh, for example, by default there's no navigation bar and the ROM doesn't have the default OnePlus gestures which are found in Oxygen OS but not in Hydrogen OS. I don't know why, maybe it's a older build or something like that but there's no OnePlus gestures and there's no deep navigation bar by default so just make sure that you go into settings and enable navigation bar right away and now the next thing is under display settings the color calibration options are there but they don't work except for the custom one which also doesn't work like 100% it works like about 5 to 10% if you adjust the slider to either of the extremes like either cool or warm you can notice a 5% difference in the color temperature of the display but that's about it. Another thing would be the night mode function works absolutely fine but the reading mode function doesn't work. Well that's kind of expected but because the reading mode feature basically makes use of OnePlus's AMOLED display to completely turn the display into black and white. Our device has a LCD display so even if this feature works, I don't think you will find it useful. And last but not least, the stock OnePlus camera, it just doesn't work. Every time you launch it, it just straight up crashes, so you can't rely on it to take any kind of pictures or videos. But once again, there's a workaround, or should I say, there's the infamous Gcam. You can basically install any Gcam mod and it will work. So overall, how's the ROM? In my opinion, everything looks fast and smooth. The animations are like really quick and all. And once you do, do the workarounds for all those bugs which I previously mentioned, it's actually pretty stable. But can it be used as a daily driver? Well, there's one more issue with the ROM which I haven't mentioned yet. And in my opinion, that's what uh, either makes it usable as a daily driver for you or not, which would be memory management. So now to begin with, my device is a 3 way RAM variant, but still on other custom ROMs and even on stock ROM. While playing PUBG, I can have Discord running in the background and still play PUBG and both of them will work just fine without any issues throughout the entire game but with the hydrogen OS port ROM if I have this card running in the background while I'm playing PUBG after about two to five minutes when I'm into the game this card just closes in the background I can't 
speak to my teammates so yeah that uh, so if you play PUBG that I, I think that's a really big issue and I think a lot of us do play PUBG now I did try fixing it by putting PUBG in game mode putting discord in game mode um, locking discord in the recent apps menu unfortunately none of them worked and to my surprise actually putting PUBG in game mode caused the game in-game audio to be a bit distorted and the game to be laggy yeah it's kind of funny that putting a game in gaming mode actually hinders the performance of the game so yeah so don't use the game mode which is another thing which i wanted to mention and because if you add any apps to the game mode it kind of suffers in terms of performance but what I'm trying to say is if your device has maybe 4 gigabytes or if you bought the 6 gigabyte variant, maybe you won't face these RAM management issues. So if you have a 3 gigabyte variant, then no, it's not a daily driver material, at least as of now. But if you have a 4 gigabyte variant or a 6 gigabyte variant, I can't really give any opinion for you because I just don't have those variants and I don't know how the ROM performs on those variants without any editing it's going past 15 minutes i think it's going to be pretty long so i'll wrap it up quickly um so yeah that's it for this video if you found this video useful you know what to do just go down and hit the like button and share it with your friends and all those things but if you do want to see more of my content and if you want to see more videos on the asus zenfone max pro m1 make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications as well